The Duke and Duchess of Sussex refusing to perform their royal duties in their interviews caused a lot of inconvenience to Elizabeth II. Even if Harry and Meghan's accusations were not directed personally at the Queen, the reputation of the entire monarchy suffered, which is already under attack for huge amounts of spending. But at Elizabeth's platinum jubilee, she made sure that the Sussex couple knew their place in the family hierarchy. To begin with, the disgraced couple were not allowed to appear on the balcony of Buckingham Palace. The day before, the Queen made changes to the traditions, and now only senior family members performing official duties will accompany her, especially on solemn balcony exits. Therefore, the Sussex couple was seen only in the window of the palace next to their nephews. The next day at the service at St. Paul's Cathedral, Harry and Meghan were seated away from Charles, Camilla, William, and Kate. Considering that Harry is sixth in line to the throne, it's pretty humiliating. In general, the Sussex couple were not given the opportunity to communicate with key representatives of the dynasty. Particularly attentive viewers saw signs of strong tension in Meghan's behavior that day, which she hid behind a wide smile. And Harry just looked sad. The issue was compounded by the booing of the couple by the crowd at the entrance to the cathedral. So Harry and Meghan's visit to the UK can safely be called unsuccessful. The Sussex couple's plan regarding letting their daughter Lilibet Diana meet the Queen, she is named after her paternal great-grandmother and grandmother. It is reported that they wanted to invite their photographer and even a Netflix crew, but they were refused. There were no pictures at all from Elizabeth's meeting with her great-granddaughter, and this potentially high-profile event remained strictly private. By the time the celebrations ended, the Sussex family had already flown home on a private jet, and Harry was said to be very upset that the visit bore no fruit. And although the Sussex couple had time to chat with the Queen, the Prince's relationship with his brother and father still leaves much to be desired. According to an insider, Harry hopes that he and Meghan will be able to fly to London more often and communicate with relatives. And what do you think? Will the Sussex family be accepted back into the family after all the high-profile accusations? If you like the video, leave a like and also subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss anything interesting.